a bunch of pathetic blockheads. Pa, just listen to your raving. Why not decide to act positive and go and find the kid instead of moaning? Excuse me, boss. I have an idea. How about if some of us form a search party and go and find him and bring him back here? Great. He's got the right idea. I don't think that kid could have got very far. But tell our men to get their act together, find the little brat, and bring him back to you, boss. Yes, well. Hmm. Sounds like a good idea. Well, what do you think? Of course. It's what I suggested. So let's get started and not waste any more time. and have a drink. Is that all right with you? Uh, uh, all right, but tell them not to be too long. We mustn't waste much time. Yes, please. this way. Yes. is up to over there. <laughs> yeah, that that's is sure and lucky. Huh? <laughs> 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 I'm afraid she won't get away. <laughs> <laughs> Our boss is going to have a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and how are we going to kill time, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, had to find ourselves some company, huh? <laughs> hey, I'll have no trouble. I can get two if I want to. Huh? Huh. I don't think you can get even one. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be surprised. <laughs> I'm pretty hot, you know. Waiter! Yay! Yeah. Uh, now, sir, what can I do for you? A pot of tea. Ah, oh, sure, sure. <laughs> hey, do you think that's a boy or a girl? A girl. And you? A boy. You're both wrong. It's neither a boy or a girl. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> hey, hey. But it looks tough. <laughs> <laughs> Chao Shang Fei. Oh, it's Chao Shang Fei. You must be the scoundrels from Dragon Fortress. Hey, you're insulting us. How dare you accuse us of being scoundrels? Our masters are all top knights. <laughs> What's so funny? Our boss is the dragon. Our second boss is the fox. Our third is the leopard. And the fourth is a tiger. I'm sure that somewhere along the line you've heard of their names. A girl shouldn't be so meddlesome. So be on your way. Get the hell out of here. Those four beasts. I've heard of them. They're hiding here. What did she say? She's calling our bosses names. Uh, no, 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 no. She said that our bosses all have the names of animals. Oh, <laughs> oh, right. Let's go then. Come on. Uh, huh? Uh, what do you want? 
I have something to ask you. Well, what is it? Was Prince Xu Yun kidnapped by you? Prince Xu Yun? That's right. What did they do to him? Uh, that's a real good question. We're under strict orders to search high and low for him. What's that? The prince isn't at your fort? If the prince was at the fort, why would our four bosses send us on a search for him? But so far, we haven't found him. Anyway, why don't we ask you where the prince is? The chances are you have a better idea than we do. <laughs> I was only joking. You, you, uh, uh, Where's the prince? I don't know where he is. I'd say if I knew. Uh, uh, teach her a lesson. Uh, She's a damn troublemaker. Come on. Uh, uh, come on. <laughs> the truth. He isn't there. I swear, I promise you, I'm, I'm, I'm telling the truth. Please don't, don't kill me, please. Don't. I'm telling you the truth.
Don't be frightened. I'm truly grateful to you for your help. <laughs> You're really a chivalrous young man. Just the type that appeals to me. Come, have a drink. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I really must thank you for saving my daughter's life. A heroic feat. Oh, sir, don't mention it. I was simply carrying out my duty as a Marshal Knight of the Order. You needn't thank me. It was my pleasure. <laughs> you are indeed a brave and courageous knight. Mm, good. I'm flattered. The family of Wu is indeed well known. A good reputation. Our family of Cheng is also well reputed. Young man. I want to marry my daughter to you. Mm. What do you say? Oh, I've been longing for it. I thought I was not good enough, and so I didn't ask. <laughs> so humble, so humble. Young man, why not ask your father to send a matchmaker over as soon as possible? I will. Thank you, sir. Oh, sorry, <laughs> father-in-law. <laughs> Uh, have a seat. Let's toast the success of the marriage. <laughs> Mr. Chang! Mr. Chang! Mr. Chang. Uh, um, Mr. Chi, uh, nice to see you. Sit down. Let's have a drink together. I heard something happened to your daughter on her way home. Oh, everything's fine now. Thanks to Mr. Wu here, uh, she's quite safe now. Greetings. My name is Wu. I'm pleased to meet you. May I know your name? Oh. <laughs> this is Mr. Chi. He, too, is a well-known martial knight, a fine cavalier, a fine man. Oh, I'm honored to meet you, Mr. Chi. Hmm. Xiao Chi, I'm sure you'll say that Mr. Wu is an outstanding person as well, huh? <laughs> as you can see, he's handsome and a fine gentleman. But you won't believe that he's a skilled swordsman to boot. Hmm? I suppose he's the one who saved your daughter as well. That's right. He did. <laughs> well, I think I don't trust him an inch. Huh? Uh, uh, Shaoji. Uh, 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 what do you mean by that? I can tell by his face that this guy is up to no good. Uh, uh, Xiaoji, how do you know? He's a cold-blooded killer as well. I can tell. I think he's playing some sort of filthy trick on you. Uh, 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 Xiaoji, you... Uh, oh, 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 Mr. Wu. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Wu, uh, forget it. He's quick-tempered. Uh, don't take it seriously. Mr. Cheng, you're quite mistaken. Uh, you mean... You want to challenge me to a duel, to settle this? And why not? Uh, hey, hey, please settle down. You're in my home, uh, Mr. Wu, uh, Mr. <laughs> Xiaoji. Oh, oh, oh. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Please stop it! Huh? Who could that be now? Take a look. Yes, sir. Uh, aren't you caught your hand? Uh, quickly, quickly, inside. Uh, 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 
inside quickly. Uh, Are you all right? Uh, Mr. Hahn, what happened? Uh, it's... It's the Crown Prince. I've got him with me. Huh? Crown Prince. Uh, Your Highness, please forgive our rudeness. Uh, oh. Your, Your Highness. Highness! Please rise, please rise. Get up. Thank, Thank you, you, Your Highness. Highness. Mr. Hahn, what has happened to you? There's been a big struggle for power, and Commander Tang tried to usurp the throne. He tried to murder the prince. Huh? I've done my best to protect him. Then the evil and scheming Commander Tang was killed by Heroin Cao. So the prince's ascendancy to the throne is no problem now, and the usurper has been removed. I didn't expect that we would meet with any more trouble. Those scoundrels of Dragon Fortress. <gasps> They joined the revolt. Charge! Fall back. Hold it! Hold it! Who do you think you are? Cut your hand. You killed our boss's uncle, Commander Tang. And so we've come for our revenge. So you're from the Dragon Fortress. Commander Tang was a traitor. He attempted to usurp the royal throne. I suggest you refuse to be a traitor. Be loyal and help the prince, for which I assure you, you'll be handsomely rewarded in the near future. Now, surely that's preferable to being an outlaw all your life. And you're so sure the prince will get the throne? Huh. If he doesn't, you'll be guilty of rebelling against the king. And for punishment, your whole family will be executed. I don't think you should risk your life for your families. I'm sick of listening to this load of bullshit. Kill! Fine. Uh, uh, uh. 
Uh, Night Chang, I offer you my last respects. <laughs> Mr. Han, Mr. Han, I'm most honored. Mr. Han, Mr. Han, Mr. Han! to ask you to help me shoulder this great task. We'll all do our best. <laughs> Xiao Qi, and you? You won't catch me working with any criminals. I'm sorry, but count me out. Uh He's such a stubborn type of fellow. I'd better find someone else. Then I'll escort His Highness to the court tomorrow. Go and get everything ready. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, take my card to the Ching's residence and ask Knight Ching if he'd mind helping us. Yes, sir. Go on. Oh, I almost forgot. Tomorrow morning I have something that I must wind up. If you'll forgive me, may I leave now? Catch you later tomorrow? Hmm, okay. But only if you make sure you join us before High Peak. Is the hideout of bandits and dangerous? Sure. I understand. I'll see you in front of High Peak. Goodbye. Bye. Mr. Ching, do you think that could be Mr. Chi over there? Uh, yes, it's him. Hey, Mr. Chi, we're over here. Come down here. Help us escort the prince to the capital. Yeah. Retreat to the fort. Yeah. Down. 
Tell him to retreat now. Yes, sir. Point in hiding the fact that you're a criminal. that way. Go on. Yeah. That damn chief. How dare he double cross us? So, Lord Chang, it's you. Hmm. Who are your accomplices? What's that? What do you mean by accomplices? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> don't pretend you don't know. Be a man and tell us the truth. Sorry, Lord Chang. I have no idea what you're talking about. Let's start with how you robbed this silver, then. That's right. The silver? I earned it honestly by selling leather. Hmm. Money's not so easy to earn these days. I'd say it's impossible for a simple hunter to earn such a heap of silver. What do you mean? I didn't earn the silver overnight. I saved it. You're suggesting it's stolen? Lord Chang, why not take him back? Use torture. That way, we'll force him to tell us the whole truth. That's right. Take him back. Sir! Yeah, sir! This yeah. is crap! What proof have you got? Save your breath. Come on. Come on. Move! Oh. 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 Get him! Oh. Come on! Oh, <laughs> 
for you coming here. Uh, stop pretending. I saw you take the prince. I saw you take him with my own eyes. What? Hmm. Xiao Qi, I'd like you to explain to me why you would do a thing like that. You're mad. You're all accusing me of a crime that I had nothing to do with. Why don't you go to hell? Don't listen to him. Let's take him back. Yes, take him back. I know that he's guilty since I saw him take the prince with my own eyes. You're all lying. You're all wrong. Three witnesses. How can you say that we're all mistaken? Men, take him away. Yes, yeah. sir. I'm extremely grateful for all the help that you've given us. Hey, cut that out. <laughs> what I have in mind is some business. Mm -hmm. Business? Hmm. You see now, I've given you a taste of my goods. And if you're satisfied, maybe you'll buy them. Mm. I'll buy them. <laughs> hmm? How much? One thousand. Not bad. I'll pay half first. Okay. But first, let's get one thing very clear. You'll get the balance when the royal prince is returned in good shape to me. <laughs> Most certainly. And if perchance I should fail, I'll return you the money, every last cent of it. <laughs> well, that's settled. Tell the cashier to prepare 500 tails of silver. <laughs> Lord Chang, I'm going nuts. He didn't even say one word. There's only one option. We should use torture. Right. Flog him. And eventually, he'll talk. Hey, that's not smart. You'll be putting your reputation at risk. Finding the prince will prove his guilt. Oh, you really believe that you can? First tell me, where is the royal prince now? Ah. Uh... <laughs> There's a saying about this world, that since it's so wide, there is, of course, a place for him to hide. Miss Chow, please stop all this fooling around with me. I... Hey, don't get so nervous. Hm. I will find him my way. Let me go! Let me go! Why do you bring me here? Let me go! <laughs> uh... Your Highness, please don't worry. This is a very safe place. No one will dare to touch you. And as soon as I've settled some private affairs, you'll be taken back to the palace. You couldn't ask for more. You're wrong. I want to go back now. You're bad people. Get rid of him, horrible little skunk. Just a spoil brat. Huh? Get rid of me? What do you mean, get rid of me? Uh, Your Highness, don't worry. She was just kidding with you. Huh. While I'm here, you're quite safe. Guard! Yes. Show His Highness to his bedroom. Yes. But, 
Guards on watch. Look out for intruders. Your Highness, this way, please. My thanks to you, boss. Don't mention it. Oh, now why are you still wearing these clothes? Take them off. Sure. On your feet now. Go and take a rest. Thank you. Guards! Assassin! Huh? Uh, you got the prince? Yes, you sir. come with me. Right. Assassin! Young lady, you must be tired of living. That's why you come here. Be wise and put down your weapon this instant. inside. Yeah.
has proved your innocence. My chief, we seized you mistakenly. I do apologize. Please forgive me. Right. It was all a mistake. <laughs> Take Night Chi to his room to have a rest. I'll dress your wound for you. Don't bother. I only wanted to prove that I was innocent. That's done. Quite right. You are innocent. Miss Chow says so. Thank you so much for your kindness. Goodbye. Hey, Mr. Chi. Don't go. We have something to discuss. <clears throat> Mr. Chi! Mr. Chi, please stay and help us. Help us rescue the prince. I'm a rebel. I'm not good enough. Uh, Mr. Chi? Miss Chow, what's all this about? You haven't told us yet. The four masters of Dragon Fortress are some of the best fighters. I'm afraid that we three are no match. That's why I asked Chi to help us, to increase our strength. I sense that if he and I could work together, we could overcome the enemy. But he, he just... Oh, Miss Chow, please come in. Tell us what you saw this evening, all of it. And then we can devise a plan how to save the prince. Right. Please. Mr. Chi, greetings to you. A wounded man cannot walk very fast. <laughs> That's how I arrived first. And who invited you here? <laughs> we were wrong about you, and so I've come to apologize. I don't want or need your apologies. Get out of here! Oh, <laughs> and who look after your wounds? Look here. I bought the medicine chest. Just forget it. I'll take care of myself. Get out of here. Otherwise, I'll have to use force. Ah, you're in need of a helping hand. There's no way you can dress that wound yourself. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> you're trying to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now that's better. You have to lie down before I can bandage you anyway. Uh, you want to take it off yourself or let me do it? Boil the water, I'll go and get it. Listen to me. Why, why don't you just leave me alone? Hey, can't I get it into your thick skull? It's because we were wrong about you. <laughs> That's why. I'm doing this to show my regret. I suspect you're just playing a trick on me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, I have come to talk to you about what I told you last night. I want you to help us. Help us save the prince. Hmm. I'm afraid I'm not the right guy. It was I who kidnapped the prince. What's that? I've already apologized to you. You can't do this to me. Basically, we walked straight into the bandit's trap. That's how you got accused. And you're telling me you're not interested in taking revenge against the bandits? I can't help. Even if I did go with you. Hmm? Why not? 
I've heard that your swordsmanship is really quite superb. My swordsmanship? It's a damn joke. I'm no good. Mr. Wu has arrived. Huh? How did he get hurt? Ah, uh, it's nothing. Oh, I waited for you at High Peak, but you never turned up. I was worried. I felt that something went wrong. Guess you could put it that way. To save the prince is the duty of a loyal subject, so help us. If you're willing to, but otherwise... You might as well forget it. I've described our plan to you. We may set off at any time. If you change your mind, you're welcome to come to Lord Cheng's place and meet us there. If not, it's your decision. But if you do decide to come, I hope you'll stick to the plan. But then, if you decline, I'll know you're a coward. Lotang, mm. why isn't Miss Tao here yet? <laughs> uh, Nai Cheng, I take great pleasure. And introducing Mr. Wu. Perhaps you've heard me speak of him. He is, in fact, my future son-in-law. Uh, please meet Mr. Cheng. Night Cheng. Sit, sit. No need to stand on ceremony with me. Huh. Lord Cheng, would you mind if I had a word with San Shan? Fine. She's probably in the garden. Why not go and look for her? Right. Uh, uh. Miss Santa? I've come to find you. Oh. Hmm. Mr. Wu. Oh, by the way, aren't I right in supposing you know the Wu's well? Mm, yes, I know them. Then you know him. Not exactly. I've never seen him before now. Uh, haven't you seen him before? Right. Who are you talking about? We're discussing my future son-in-law, Mr. Wu. Nai Ching's well acquainted with the Wu's, but strangely enough, he doesn't seem to know him. What does he look like? Um, he has a round face, small eyes, but quite handsome. A round face? Uh, does he have a black mark above his left eyebrow? Uh, yes, I think so. Hey, I remember. There is a black mark above his left brow. I know who he is. <laughs> so do I. Who is he? <laughs> He's Dragonhead of the evil Dragon Fortress. Oh. He always disguises himself as a scholar and then proceeds to cheat rich girls. He cheats them out of their money, out of everything. Damn it. Also, you ought to know that he's Commander Tang's nephew, and he kidnapped the prince. Uh, but wait. He's out in the garden. Let's keep quiet about all this. Then I'll ask him to come in. Mr. Ching, you gather all our guards together first, and then we'll take him by surprise. Good. Lo Cheng! Uh, Lo Cheng! Miss Cheng has been kidnapped by Mr. Wu! Oh! Uh, uh. 
No, wait. In order to get to Dragon Fortress, you have to pass three sets of guards. Start off at once. Fight your way in. Uh, I'll go after the dragon. I'll catch him up, and I'll get him. Uh, I count on you, Miss Chow. Right. Send out an order. Gather our men. Then follow me to Tiger Slope. your money. So hand it over now. And if you don't, you won't live. It's you. Yes, it is. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Chao Shang Fei. You? How did you get here? <laughs> I walked on some rooftops, the grass and the clouds, and some treetops. That's how I got here. Huh. What can I do for you? You know what I came here for. But I can spell it out. I'm here to take the Prince and Miss Cheng away with me. I'm afraid that won't be so easy. <laughs> Perhaps for you it seems far-fetched. But for me it's as easy as pie. I won't listen to this garbage. Easy as pie. Guards, get her! Yes! yes! <laughs> <laughs>
this child. What are we going to do now? Hmm. What do you suggest? I want to go home. Want to go home? Hmm. Your dad's here. Why go home? Huh? My dad's here? He's come to get you. Really? Why should I lie to you? you and help you to succeed to the throne. Huh. But only if you listen to me. Hmm. There's a lady called Chow who will try to help you, but she can't. Boss! Boss! That woman Chow's here. Uh, Where? Uh, at the front gate. She fought with us. She's hurt. Uh, and she's wounded. And she's surrounded by us. Oh. Right. Keep an eye on the prince. I'll go low. Yes, sir. Where is she? Just over there. What are you waiting for? Why didn't you catch her? Come on, boss. She's pretty tough. Many of our men were hurt. So we daren't take any action. Chow's gun. She played a trick on us. Get back to the prince. Yes, sir. Boss. Boss. The bad news. Where's the prince? Miss Chow. She. She took him. Uh, boss. He's dead. Blackhead. Oh. Oh. to watch out for his hidden weapon. Mm. Be very careful. Yes, yeah. sir. Go get him. We seem to be going nowhere. Hmm. Seems we are lost. <gasps> There's a road over there. Let's try it. Get 
it together. Without you, we can't escape. I think we should stay here and wait to be found. You're kidding. We will have to stay here. And why is that? You lot! Your grandma is telling the truth. You three have to stay here now and die! Shall I escape again? I wounded her with my dart, and she fell to her death. Doesn't stand a chance. Oh. <laughs> you wounded her with your dart? <laughs> <laughs> She's finished. The dart cuts deep into the flesh, inflicting its poison. Huh? The wound becomes badly inflamed, uh? and in no time, uh? the flesh turns black, uh? oozes pus, goes uh -huh. septic, a high fever follows. And if that doesn't kill her, the pain definitely will. Take the prince away. Me? Hmm. You, release her. Huh? Release her! Run for your life. You let me go free? If you're fast enough, you can try and dodge the darts. Hmm. Let's see if luck is with you. Get going! Run now, or I won't spare your life. Uh. 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 
Just missed. Oh, thank you for saving me. Cheng, take Shen Shen and run. I'll hold him back. Leave at once. We'll save the others later. back to the fort. I'll go first. I'll take the prince to the capital to succeed to the throne. Hmm. Let's go. Move. Move. Come on. Dragon called the prince again. I'll leave this to you. But you haven't yet recovered. Never mind. Huh? Hey! Yeah! <laughs> 
Your Highness, you're a young boy. You can't distinguish right from wrong. I can, too. You're a bad man. Ah, uh, you see, that's why I say you're a young boy. How could I be a bad man? I've done everything in my power to make sure that you succeed to the throne. Your Highness, it's time to go. You'd better be on your way now. I'm not going. Not going? What do you want to do, then? I'll go where Miss Chow takes me. Cha Shang Fei? Your Highness, didn't you see her fall down from the mountain? I don't believe she's dead, and I won't till you show me her corpse. Then I'll believe it. Uh, Your Highness, I'll have to start using force then. Guards! Yes! Yeah. Time to the sedan chair and leave. Yes, yeah. sir. Uh, you let me go! Come on. Let me go! There! I want to see Miss Chow! Chow Shang Fei? Haven't I already told you she's dead? And who says so? <laughs> I don't die so easily. You? What are you doing here? <laughs> you see, I'm paid to save the prince. And I've accepted people's money. So I'm obliged to get the job done. That's not an easy task. Guards! Yes! Yes! yes. Ha! Is it 
Нет. Thank <laughs> you. 